Eric Gray is a tailback out of Oklahoma. He's five foot nine, two hundred and ten. One of my favorite things about Eric is he quickly identifies the path of least resistance. Uh, he'll find the hole. He'll hit it quickly. Uh, if the gaps that are drawn up are not open, and if the design gap is closed, uh, Eric's able to improvise and find space to run. Uh, he does this because he's a very effective reader uh, of both first and sec second level defenders, as well as being able to read his blocks. Uh, he's quick in identifying the holes, and he hits that lane immediately. Uh, we see Oklahoma running power here. Uh, he sees the linebackers crash and close those gaps down. Very quick change of direction. My favorite thing about him, perhaps, is that he hits the hole immediately. See, good power here. He does run very hard. I don't consider him a power runner. Eric's a very good open field runner, particularly head on uh, with safeties, defensive backs coming downhill. He really has a good ability to juke these guys in the open field. Uh, and as I mentioned, he sets up blocks and reads very well. Um, this is that split zone, left. Watch him juke right here, get this defender outside, and then cut it right off the backside of the block. As I mentioned, my, my favorite thing about him is that he identifies uh, the leverage of the defender and the blocks very, very quickly, and he, and he shoots through the hole very quickly as well. I mentioned I don't consider him a power back. Um, he, he is brought down a lot of times by arm tackles up high, but to my mind, he makes up for that at least to some extent, by how hard he runs and by his vision. You can see him reading the Mike linebacker here. Bounces it outside. The Wills got him. Watch him cut inside. Again, reading off this block, and he's got to get the first down here. He's going to lower his shoulder and make sure he does. Really good stop and start uh, and elusiveness here in the hole. Again, really good vision. You can see here the puller gets blown up disrupts the play in the backfield, goes to bounce it out, watch him set this defender up, really quick cut, kind of slips out of that tackle, does it again. And one more block there on the outside, he's probably going to take this home. We see a skip pull executed by the left tackle. It's going to take a little bit longer for him to get around on power and run through. You see that rhythm step and patience in the backfield by Eric. And I want you to watch how quickly he bursts through the hole. You can see that at full tempo a lot more clearly. It's a bit of a workhorse, uh, gets the ball a lot in the games that I watched. Uh, interestingly, I, I did not see him one time in pass protection, so I don't have a clue as to how he holds up there. I watched, I think, four games, maybe five, or pieces of four or five games. Uh, what I like about him as a pass catcher is he sells things out of the backfield. I see him as a check down here. Even still, he's really going to try to set up the linebacker who has him in coverage. Just a slow step there and then a burst to the sideline that just buys him a little bit of space when the quarterback does check down to him. Seems to have adequate hands out of the backfield. Um, and they do use him that way. Uh, and if you can get him in space, particularly uh, eye to eye on a defender, he's very effective. See him run an angle route uh, in the red zone. Uh, sets up this arrow, very sudden, off that outside foot. Beats the defender inside. Picks up the first down. Watch it again. I don't see him as a super power back, and I don't see him as a super speed back. Um, don't think he's going to run away from guys or run or outrun uh, angles. It's possible that you would need to bring him along in pass protection. As I said, I haven't seen him one time in pass protection. He's not a guy that's going to break a lot of tackles, uh, but he is an effective goal line runner because of his vision. 
far more decisive uh, in terms of hitting the hole, identifying blocks, reading uh, defenders than, say, Justice Hill. It would be interesting if the Ravens could pick this guy up as a third back. Um, I don't know that they have the draft capital to get him, say, in the third round. I'm guessing that's where he would go.